What's good, YouTube? Hair's Robin Fit here. Coming to make a very quick video for you guys, hopefully, very quick video for you guys. The reason why I'm jumping in here, there's three reasons. <clears throat> before I even start, I apologize for any background noise. I mentioned before to y'all that I'm a mother of six, so it gets a little crazy around here sometimes. But <clears throat> I'm on my way to the gym now to do some cardio. It's Sunday, March 11th, and um, yeah, so. Got to get some cardio in this week, this weekend, or start this week off. But before I go, I wanted to stop and make a quick video because, like I said, three reasons. Number one, I wanted to discuss this channel, my name, what it means. And the second thing I wanted to discuss was I wanted to do an update on the flat irons that um, I posted a video on here before about. And thirdly, I wanted to talk about my one year challenge, one year hair challenge that I'm getting ready to start today. Um, <clears throat> first and foremost, my name is Hairs Robin Fit. I'm in my attic right now. It's the quietest, uh, most private place I can find in the house. Um, but um, my name is Hairs Robin Fit. Hairs Robin, I went to cosmetology school. I graduated from there. My mom, made that name, she's, you know, like I said, I want to open up a salon. She said a cute name for that would have been Hairs Robin. So I thought that was cute. So that's how I've had that name for a while. About a little over two years ago, I started fitness. After having six kids, birth control, bad eating habits, and being in my 30s, it all caught up to me, um, weight-wise and health-wise, and I knew I needed to make a change. So I joined a gym, I had a trainer, Lost about 25, 26 pounds, toned up a lot. I have a long way to go, but I've come very far from where I was. And I love everything fitness and things about fitness. So the reason why my name is Hair is Robin Fit because you'll see different things as far as tutorials, um, hair tutorials, hair reviews, hairstyles, um, product styles, not product styles, I'm sorry, product, products that I might use, as well as fitness stuff, stuff on points on uh, eating, maybe working out. You might see a session of me in the gym, some of my gains, and things like that. I do have a video on here already that touches on my journey a little bit. It's just a short journey because I've only been doing it for a little over two years, but it, you know, it's um, the videos on there. And I'm here for motivation on both of those areas, hair and fitness. So that's why my name is Hairs Robin Fit. Um, the second thing I want to talk about was the flat iron uh, video, the tutorial on flat irons, the one that we bought, and the one that was um, we were looking at was Professional Steam Styler. There was another name for it, I didn't check <clears throat> to see exactly what I had put on there, but I'm sure it'll be in the post when I post it. But the reason why I made that video that has been looked at, I think, over 5,000, 500,000 maybe, uh, views, and it also brought me 140 something subscribers which I thought was very awesome because before I had even made the video, I had like maybe two subscribers and I wasn't looking to gain subscribers, but it's awesome nevertheless. And I think it's cool that you guys um, subscribe to me. So I figure I gotta get on here and put some more videos on there because I'm gaining subscribers every day, yet I'm not making any new stuff. So again, as you hear the loud noise in the background, I'm not techie, I don't know anything about tech, so it's hard for me to <clears throat> make a good video but anyways I came on to do an update about that one because the reason why I made that video originally was because I when I went to purchase that flat iron I always come to YouTube for reviews and I could never find I found zero reviews on that flat iron so I told myself when mine come I'm gonna make one for other people so they can have an honest real review on how that video go sorry about that Anyways, I wanted to make an honest review for people about the flat iron. Something I would expect if I'm making a purchase. So I came back to do a pros and cons on it. It's been months since I've bought it. I've used it several times since then, not necessarily on my own hair, but on other people's hair. So I wanted to do a quick pro and con. So pros, I'll start with the pros because that's what I left the video on that note, the pros of that flat iron. Pros are, it's a very good flat iron. I love the floating plates, how they, cause you know when you get a, a, a less quality flat iron, you get the pulling and the snagging when you're flat ironing your hair. No one likes that. So what I liked about this particular flat iron was the floating plates. When you press the uh, flat iron plates together, they move. 
And so it gives you like a glide on your hair. You don't get the pulling. That was a great thing. Um, you don't need to use a steamer. A lot of people were questioning, what if my hair reverts from using a steamer when I flat iron my hair? You don't need it. You know, as an African-American um, young lady, we know, and, and if any of you are, um, you know, African-American, you know that when you put any product on your hair and you go to flat iron, you're gonna get a steam effect anyway. <clears throat> so you really don't need the water steamer. It's nice and everything, but you can use it either way. So that's a plus. It, you know, you can put different um, heating settings after it's been going for a certain amount of time. It cuts off, I believe, after an hour. So that's great. Um, and it's a very good flat iron. Like it really does get your hair silky straight and smooth with like one pass. So those are the pros. The same thing I said before. It's a great flat iron. The cons to it is this. So I brought it with me. <laughs> First of all, you guys see what's missing? The cartridge. Um, there was a little clear cartridge and I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know where it is. It came with it. So we just recently moved into this house that I'm in right now, um, back in January. And the cartridge, when I packed up to leave, I made sure these were protected inside its box, ready to move. Well, I don't know if it was from the move or what, but the cartridge, when I when I brought it out to use it on my daughter's hair about a month ago, the cartridge piece that clicks into these two pieces here is like a little, um, the cartridge piece has two little things that stick into this area to latch it. Well, it was broke off. And I'm like, I know I packed it well. And if a couple of shakes and moves of a box is breaking it off, that's not a good thing. So the good news is that I don't need that. And I tried it without it. So it works just fine without the steam cartridge. But the bad thing is if that's what you paid for and that's what you're supposed to have, it shouldn't have broken that easy. It broke easy. And then the little clip that's supposed to clip down inside of it to make it stay, that broke too. I don't even know how. So that's not a good thing. But overall, like I said, the flat iron is still good. It's heavy duty. You see the, I don't know if you can see it, but the, you get kind of like a shocking system from the plates instead of it being just flat. Um, another con is that, and I've used a lot of flat irons in my life. Like I said, I, I'm a hairdresser. I've gone to hair school for hair. I've done lots of hair. I've had my share of flat irons. This, um, you have to use very small sections to get a really good flat iron. You will have to go several passes if it's a medium size or not too small of a size hair. I mean, that's good. You want to use small sections of flat iron in your hair, but if you're in a rush, I've had flat irons where I can use medium size, not thick and bulky, but a lot larger than I have to use for this to do my hair in less time. These move quickly if you're using small sections, but it's going to take you longer because you're using smaller sections on your hair. So that's a con. Those are the only two cons I have, is that that piece broke off and that you really have to use small sections with the flat iron. Bottom line, would I buy it again? Absolutely. So that's my second review, my update review on that flat iron. Is it an overall good buy? Yes, it is. You just gotta be very, very careful with that cartridge piece um, because it can easily break. And be prepared to spend a little bit of extra time on your hair when you do it. That's it. So, okay, my name, the flat iron. Last but not least, my one year hair challenge. So I've been natural since 2012. September officially is when I did my big chop. Um, over the last almost six years, my hair has grown to about mm, right here. It's about how far it goes, just below my collarbones, and I've had it about right here. And then my back, of course, was you know a little lower mid back. I've never been bald headed since I've been like when I say that. If you wore relaxers, you know how relaxers are. Your hair gets nice and thick, nice and full. You go without a relaxer for a while, then you relax, and it seems so vibrant and long and thick. But then your hair breaks off, and then you get to that point where you got that little snatched bald head ponytail look. I've been there many times. Since I've been natural, I've never, ever had my hair break to the point where I just look like something's wrong. So going natural was the best thing I ever did. But I stagnate at that length, and I figured it out. I figured it out, because in the beginning when I started going natural, I was all on the, on here, getting the, you know, following the vloggers, Natural 85, uh, Ebony Curly TV, I mean, the, Alyssa Forever, all these different people I was following for natural hair ideas. 
and the list goes on. I'm sorry if I didn't shout out everybody, but these young ladies I've been following and using their advice and things like that to keep myself, you know, you know, natural. In the beginning, my hair was flourishing, growing so fast because of my routine that I was doing. But once it got to a certain length, I started to flat iron it. I got the color in it. I was weaving it up till the, till the cows came home because natural hair is so time consuming. So when you're busy, mother of six, married almost 11 years, you don't really have time to fuss with your hair all the time, especially when you're natural. So I've been weaving it up like crazy, but now I'm tired of how I can never seem to grow past this length. And my hair is super duper dry. Y'all looking at right now, a crochet. This has only been up <clears throat> three weeks. Well, it ain't even been three weeks, a little over two weeks. And you say, I got growth, tons of gray hair, y'all see, it's ridiculous. But this is a um, crochet. My hair is so thirsty right now. Like it is the driest. Now, I could go in between my um, braids, that's the beautiful thing about crochet, and add some oils and sprays and waters and whatever. But I haven't, just because I just don't feel like it sometimes. And it's a little bit of a chore to get in between there um, and some days. Or I just forget, you know, when you get in the mirror and your hair looking like it needs to be and you just keep moving, this is like a shake and go. I put on my bonnet, go to sleep, get up, I shake it out, you know, and it's good to go. And it's been up a little over two weeks. And for some reason, this gets better the older it gets. So I really, really liked this type of hair. It's that um, Jamaican bounce curl. I'm um, here and I just cut it in half and crocheted it in there. But I decided to do a one year no weave challenge. Yeah. That's why it's called a challenge, y'all, because it's going to be a challenge. I absolutely love my weave. I love, 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 love my weave. It's so easy. But I'm tired of losing when it comes to my hair. I want to get back to the health of my hair. I want to get back to the moisturization of it. Because what's the point of protective styling when you're just stagnated? Or your hair is not healthy or it's not growing. Like, or you're not retaining length, I should say. Because it's definitely growing. Excuse me. So, I decided to do a one-year challenge. I actually chopped off like three to four inches of my natural hair. Because that part of hair, about that much, I chopped it off because it was dry. It was colored and it was uh, just damaged. I had about this much in the nape of my neck hair area of straight. Like I would wash my hair, everything else would shrink up. And that one little piece was bone straight because it was heat damage. And so I was just like, it's just time for something different. And I don't know about y'all, but I would rather have short, full, thick, luxurious hair than long, scraggly, down your, almost to your butt. But if it's thin and scraggly and unhealthy, that's not for me. So I'd rather have short, healthy hair than long, broken off, unhealthy hair. So I decided to cut those inches off. Um, it wasn't hard for me, but I do kind of miss it. And it'll be hard. Uh, this this year will be hard. I know it will be. But my plan is, real quick, so I'm going to wrap this up. So my goal is today is going to mark my first day of my one-year challenge. So March 11th, 2019, I want to see where my growth is, what's the change. But, so every month, I'm going to try and do a different style. My first style I'm going to try today is going to be a mohawk. And I may come back on here. I may film it and make a video and post it on here so you guys can see how I do that. And you can see what my natural hair looks like underneath all this weave and where I'm at. I want to document this year because I want to see, let you guys know what the challenges are. And so I can see myself, what I'm going through and the struggle is going to be to not have weave. Also along with that no weave is going to be a no heat challenge. So only heat I'm going to allow on my hair is under a hooded dryer for my deep conditionings and then maybe some diffusing for my curls because that's not direct heat. So once again, here's Robin Fit. You got the update on the flat iron. You know what my name is and why. Going to have some more videos coming towards y'all for fitness and hair tutorials and reviews. And follow me on my one year challenge, y'all. <laughs> and pray for me. Pray. Because it's going to be hard. My goal is to get comfortable with my natural hair, fall in love with it again, take care of it. I just bought a line by Giovanni Chic 2. That's what I'm gonna be using today. It's a, wa a shampoo conditioner and um, leave-in conditioner spray. That's what I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna be making some flaxseed gel to do my mohawk with. Normally I rot it, but I just wanna do my natural curl pattern. 
So I'm signing off, y'all. It's 15 minutes. Stay tuned.